What's going on, everybody? We got the massive bat wing from the Flash movie. This is crazy. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. It's a huge 27 inch bat wing from Spin Master. This is an online Target exclusive. I got this one for 40 bucks. Holy smokes. Backside of the packaging does show that we get a landing gear and again advertises that this thing is huge. 27 inches. Top of the box shows the Flash logo. DC logo on one side, Flash logo on the other. Here is all the UPC info if you need it. Time to get this bad boy out of the packaging. Let's go. All right, we got everything out of the packaging and this looks awesome. This is everything we get outside of the box. We get the cabin here by itself. We get a Batman figure, which is pretty nice. I didn't know we were getting that. And we get two huge wings to attach. So this is pretty sweet. So for the Batman figure, this is more or less exactly the same figure. At least I don't see any differences between the single release, uh, you know, on a standard card. And this one that comes with the back jet. Looks like it is the exact same figure. Don't see any differences. We'll take a look anyways. Here's the back side. We'll do the comparison later with the single card release. I do have it. Uh, but yeah, this looks like the exact same figure. Definite likeness to Michael Keaton, which I really like. And the head moves side to side. Can't really look up or down. Arm comes out, forward, back, full 360, bend, twist the elbow. Wrist articulation is there. Nothing in the waist, legs come out about that far. Forward, they don't really go back. And there's a ratchet bend at the knee. And we do have a beautiful cloth cape, exactly how it should be. And this guy looks fantastic. For the Batwing, here is the cabin and it looks really sleek. I really like this design a lot. Um, we can see that the full canopy is translucent. And so it's kind of like windshield texture, but all the way across so you can see Batman on the inside. And there's just some really sweet design work going on here. Not a lot of paint, um, so it's definitely hard to pick up on camera. Everything is just all black, but it does look very nice. Underside of the cabin does have three landing gears, which is very cool. We can see that hover feature. So that is nice, and all in all, it looks really good. From the side of the vehicle, you can see where the wings port in. All in all, this looks really nice. I just wish there was some more paintwork going on, but it's like a customizer's wonderland for sure. You could have a lot of fun with this. Like I said, the canopy is translucent. Put your thumb right here, and then lift up. It's a little bit of a snug fit. But there you go, you can see it's all translucent. And inside is nothing, it's just all empty. Uh, there is the spot where the feet go, so that's nice. And this is where you can put your uh, seven inch figures maybe with a couple of car seats glued in there. I'm just kidding, you can put your 12 inch Batman figure in there. There's a lot of options here with this. You could even do like a Justice League style Javelin 7, get a bunch of seats going in there. There are definitely some really good options. The wings are definitely massive, but very light, and it's all the same color black. We do get this piece here, which is, I guess, uh, we'll see, something probably comes out of it. <laughs> Maybe some guns, who knows. Uh, on the underside, this is different from the four inch version. Uh, there's no landing gear here. All three landing gears are under the cabin. And so this kind of doesn't look like, well, I don't know. I guess you could do it. You could change it up a little bit, but I would say if you were to hang this from the ceiling, you wouldn't want that showing underneath. The underside of the carriage here does not look so good for the wings, but it is light. It's for kids. Honestly, at the end of the day, it does the job and it looks great. And if you're trying to skip out on the McFarlane one, that's like 35 inches, this will definitely do the trick. All right, so the landing gears come out nice and easy. There's one, there's two, and here's three. There we go. 
that looks pretty nice so it can come off the ground very simply I like that a lot and then for the wings it's a one-time clip on situation let's see if we can do this oh man if you're a kid you're definitely gonna need your parents if you're a parent you might need a second parent okay there's one let's see if we can get the other all right let's just clip this in oh it was much easier i think i got a little scared there and i didn't want to mess it up this thing absolutely massive i love it super super sick and having trouble keeping it in the frame absolutely massive i love it all right putting our 12 inch batman into the bat wing he just slides on in you close that he's in pretty cool nice and simple doesn't look like he's gonna go anywhere in there and you can see just how ridiculous that looks this this doesn't look quite right does it no that's because batman should be sitting at the front of the cabin but if you're a kid you're just trying to get that batman into that bat jet and it works yes this bat wing does house a 12 inch batman i've learned unfortunately the canopy does not like to stay up on its own if you push it back it will fall so be careful with that canopy does come off nice and easy so if you are going to customize and close up the rest of this and make it black you can do that with ease this comes apart back here nice and easy and uh, it can clip back on just as well all right so i have the canopy popped off and just kind of hanging in there off the back of the plane i've got a seven inch mcfarland dark knight returns batman in there and that looks fantastic for pictures this is going to be absolutely incredible and probably what a lot of photographers are looking for for their seven inch figures you're definitely going to want to get some airplane parts in there though uh some seats maybe a nice yoke uh <laughs> i don't think you're gonna need any right rudder left rudder uh brakes no i'm just kidding but you kind of get the idea it's definitely plain in there you're gonna need some stuff to make this thing fly but all in all this looks really really good could you fit two mcfarland figures in there yes would it shut probably not um i'm kind of thinking you may have to carve out a little bit in there to get some more leg room and figure out how to stack this accordingly and i'm not a crazy customizer but i hope if you are i'm giving you some great ideas and if you close with two seven inch mcfarland figures yeah it works but they look like they're shoved in there like they're in a carrying case or something with some four inch spin master figures these actually fit very nice you can get some very simple seats and glue them in there and you've got enough room for just about everybody so that looks good with the canopy closed that still looks pretty sleek if you happen to be wondering what other batmans you have that might fit in here this is a 1991 batman returns toy biz figure he fits in there really well he's about 10 inches tall and uh yeah that works for a comparison of our 12 inch scale bat wing with our four inch scale bat wing four inch one looks like a baby this is crazy that bat wing is huge i paid like 30 bucks for this little one with four figures and uh for 40 bucks to get something way bigger it just kind of seems like a no-brainer and of course they both have landing gears so that is pretty sweet they stay raised up off the ground but yeah there they are spin master had made the hawkman cruiser in this scale oh my goodness would have been a lot better here they are now that cruiser still looks insanely small and definitely just out of scale all together but there they are together the black adam hawkman cruiser and the 12 inch scale bat and for one more comparison with our batwing 12 inch spin master comic book style batmobile and robert pattinson bat cycle these look really really nice together vehicles for our 12 inch figures absolutely fantastic all right so i have the bat jet batman on the right and the single card release on the left and I gotta say, they look exactly the same. Spin Master, you're still killing me here with this. You could have done a variant paint deco only for the Bat Jet or something. Something with the paint variants. 
Uh, that'd be sweet. But anyways, these are the same thing. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, Target.com exclusive 12-inch scale Batwing from the upcoming Flash movie from Spin Master. This thing is epic. I don't think I have anything in my collection quite like this. Definitely worth the pickup. 10 out of 10. Highly recommended for the money and the scale. It's so cool, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're going to pick up or pass on this one and what you're finding in your local areas. I would love to hear from you. As always, we've got a lot coming. There's a lot of new toys, so keep it right here at my channel. As I find more new cool and awesome stuff, I'll be sure to bring it to you here. The likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, the viewership, it's been phenomenal. Thank you, each and every one of you. I appreciate you all. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.